What's up guys, Dylan here. I'm bringing you team building video numero one oh. Um, wow, and already failed. Uh, yeah, so today I will be building a UU team. Um, I'm going to try to build a stall team actually. And generally do uh, you know, more balanced teams, uh, pretty standard with that, um, with how I do that. Uh, if any of you guys remember, um, but today I will be, I'm going to build a purely defensive team, um, built around countering the top threats, um, I'm not sure if the usage stats for February have, are out yet, um, if they are, then we'll be using that, uh, that's, sm yeah, Smogan. You, you, February. Um, nope. Doesn't look like it. Let's, um, Dark Horse Project. I don't know what that is. Alright, um, let's go here, see if we can find the actual usage stats. Uh, February 2013 usage. Wow, I just spent, spelled February wrong. <coughs> just completely missed an R. You used as February 13. There we go. Awesome. So they are out. Um, I will probably be revisiting these um, in a blog. Or uh, not a blog, that's not right at all. In a uh, podcast. Uh, it's currently do have plans to do that with uh, my friend you Metagross. So, yeah. We'll probably be revisiting these then, so I'm not going to go too much into actually analyzing them or anything, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to pull them up, make sure that I hit on the main counters. I have been playing quite a bit, so I do know what they are. Um, they're countering the main threats, not hitting on the main counters. Yeah, countering the main threats. I have been playing quite a bit lately, actually, so that's good. Um, and I know that, like, even though Mew's not in the top here, like, I need to be... Be sure to have something for Mew because, uh, you know, a Swords Dance or Nasty Plot Mew can sweep an entire team if you're not ready for it. Like, things like that that may not be in the top couple, but are definitely still something that you have to think about. Um, so, yeah, Heracross, definitely a uh, big deal right now. It's usage, I think that it went down, um, but it's still number one. And there, there's a reason Heracross, Scarf Heracross with Moxie is phenomenal. Um, so I will definitely have to have something that can get take care of that. Uh, I have Showdown up here. Um, I'm gonna just team build in here instead of PO because I, I you know I don't really need if I need the sorting sort of stuff as TO then or from PO then I'll just do that. Um, but yeah, I am adding Pokemon. Woo. First things first, uh, Melodic, because uh, you, you need a bulky water type, and Melodic is a boss. Um, probably one of my favorite Pokemon to use in UU. Uh, Rest Talk Melodic is absolutely phenomenal, just this exact set here. Um, I've, tr I've used it with Haze instead of Dragon Tail a couple times, uh, depending on you know what I need. Uh, with the rest of the team, but I'll probably just use Scald, Rest, Sleep, Talk, Dragon Tail, just like, uh, just like we got here. Um, Melodic. And she will have leftovers. I'm not going to be very original with this one. That set works and works very well. I have no reason to mess with it. Dragon Tail. Scald, Dragon Tail, Rest, Sleep, Talk. So, you know, don't fix what ain't broken. Down here, you got 248 HP EVs. We got 196 defense. 196. We got 56 spiff. And we got 8 speed. There you go. And running a calm nature. Just like that. Alright, and boom. One sixth of the way done. Um, yeah, with that Marvel scalability it works wonders in uh, in tandem with rest because you know if I get to some hit with a toxic or something, not a big deal. Um, 
can rest it off and still have that marble scale active uh, 1.5 times the defense bumps it up to what 243 half of that is 120 uh, 360 defense so that's you know real solid defenses between the special and the physical and it's yeah it's really hard to get through melodic without something like a choice band victini's uh, fusion bolt or something some, you know something super effective that hits r like a truck that's you know one of the few ways to get through it um, with one hit or uh, if you can catch it if you can force it out after it rests and then catch it on a three hit KO uh, but that's you know it's not very easy to get through melodic that's why I use it all the time I absolutely love it I'm gonna slide this back here um, another one is, that I'm probably just going to throw on here without even thinking about is um, Cafagrigus uh, Cafagrigus is an amazing counter to Heracross especially the choice scarf set um, put it in gets rid of its moxie which is awesome uh, and really you know can counters it very well uh, so I'll probably just throw Cafagrigus right on there without even thinking about it too much I uh, will open it up here and uh, I'll probably run a defensive variant of Cafagrigus and um, not yeah not the trick room just the the defensive variant and go with that um yeah so let's let's go ahead and throw that on here cofagus and with leftovers ability of mummy going to go with will o wisp um paint yeah shadow ball paint split and then ha either haze or knockoff. Shadow Ball, Pain Split, Pain Split, and either haze or knockoff. Um, for now, I'm going to put in knockoff. We'll see how much phasing happens on the rest of the team. If I do need another one, then I'll change that to haze. Um, 248, 252, and 8. 48, uh, 252, and 8. Boom. With a bold nature. Um, no bold nature. There we go. Alright, and um, let's go ahead and make this UU so that it doesn't keep trying to give me OU Pokemon. Um, Alright, and then what else we got here that are really good defensive Pokemon um, I'm going to definitely need toxic um, on a couple things uh, status is gonna be a big deal uh, Obama snow maybe um, you know couldn't hurt because of um, you know getting residual damage with uh, the hail could be nice. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and back here and actually look through these. Uh, start to open some up. Um, Obama Snow is one. Um, Snorlax is definitely another one. Uh, maybe a Curselax. So it actually do have some sort of offensive ability. Um, but obviously, you know, even curse cursing Snorlax is still very hard to get through. Um, once, you know, fighting types, me and Chow, Heracross, uh, Machamp, those, once those sort of Pokemon are out of the way, it is really hard to get through, um, Snorlax. Um, another one is Nidoqueen, which is still RU, but I will pull it up here. Queen, um, still RU, but I, I don't think that that'll last long. I, I it, no. Um, I haven't played RU with Middle Queen down there, but there's no way that it's not, like, just the best thing uh, Nidoqueen Queen is. I mean, when you look at the stats, like, nothing is exceptional, but just how great they're balanced. I mean, I, I absolutely love Nidoqueen. Queen. Um, it still has 
really solid offensive abilities, but with great defensive typing, you know, resistances to some some major threats in UU like Heracross, you know, can resist both um, close combat and Megahorn uh, and Stone Edge for that matter. Um, Nidal Queen is absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Let's see what else. Um, what else do I want for a stall team? Uh, Zapdos. Zapdos is pretty freaking sweet. Um, very, very good at stalling. Um, doesn't take ridiculous. So, so are Articuno and Moltres, but they take a lot of damage from uh, Stealth Rocks. You know, fifty percent. So it. You know, even if you can get them in safe, yeah, that's great. But it's not something that that's gonna be very easy to do. Um, but yeah, if you look, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno, all of them are really good at stalling in their own right. Uh, but that Stealth Rock weakness really holds the other two back. Um, so Zapdos will be probably the one that I go ahead and use here. Um, let's see what else. Uh, what else would I want on a stall team? Uh, somebody to set, uh, set up Brock's Nido Queen can do that. Um, Spikes maybe not not a huge deal. Um, you know who I've never used that I've seen on stall teams sometimes is Zatu. Maybe Zatu. I've never. I mean, I've used Zatu a couple times, but never a lot. Um, Sableye, I will begrudgingly open and probably close immediately because I despise Sableye, but it does its job so well. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? I already have Milo. Um, Hitman Top, maybe just have a spinner. Um, I don't want Blastoise because Blastoise kind of redundant with melodic um and melodic I I I know that Blastoise is used more but melodic is definitely the better bulky water type I have absolutely no doubt in my mind about that wow melodic is dropped in usage holy crap I mean it's not in danger of falling out of the tier but that is low oh yeah there's Nidoqueen queen about to come back to you you um Above the likes of Verizion and Crocodile, some Tornadus even. Wow, Tornadus is real low down there. If this is an offensive team, I would probably be using that. That is crazy low. Wow. Doesn't I mean according to just this usage, nothing is below the threshold to drop really. Um Fish, yeah, nothing that's actually in UU would be going down. Yeah, no. Um, Aerodactyl is another one of my favorites to use in UU. Fantastic revenge killer. Give that thing a choice scarf, and it just eliminates most of the offensive Pokemon in the tier. And its speed is so, so ridiculous that. It, with, you don't even have to have full speed investment and you give it a choice scarf and it, it'll outpace all the other choice scarfers and just decimate. I, I love Aerodactyl. Stealth Rock Weakness is another big deal though. Um, speaking of RU Pokemon, let's go ahead and open up Crustle here. Um, might be worth thinking about for um, the definite ability to get up some some entry hazards. Uh, entry hazards are definitely something that you need on a stall team. Um, you know, either whether you're phasing through to actually rack up damage or just every time they come in, uh, just being able to get some from that. It's it's definitely something that that's pretty much necessary. Uh, at least stealth rocks. Spikes is nice, but at least stealth rocks. Um, Let's see, what else do we got here? What else do we got? That's not even right. 
what else do we have? Um, we got, we got, we got. Gliger is not a terrible option, um, especially if I go with Snorlax. Gliger has good, um, good synergy with those just because you know it's normal types you know when you have a normal type out you can err and they send out something physical fighting to try to get through it Gliger can check those pretty well um, but I also already have Cafagragus on here for that same reason um, what else do we have where am I? Gliger, Frostbite, Flygon, and Polion. Um, also somewhat redundant, but uh, still possibly different enough to put on there. And Polion is really um, is a bulky defensive Pokemon with that steel and water to really good defensive typing. So, um, what else we got? Crobat, definitely one to think about. Um, Bronzong. Mm, Blastoise, no. Azelf, bulky Arcanine actually is something to think about. Um, I know Arcanine is generally an offensive Pokemon, but I'm sure if you've seen a defensive variant, you know that it actually works pretty well. Um, and ha still has the ability, ability to dish out some pain as a defensive poke, which, uh, you know, definitely something that I might need on a defensive team is some actual offensive ability to finish off uh, finish them off once they're weak so now that we have a handful of options up here um, you know let's go to RU2 just see if there's anything quick to open up um, sort by defense Steelix no Dustmore definitely not uh, Tang Growth is a pretty good tank um Oh Spiritomb maybe. Slow King. Speaking of, I did not open Slow Poke either. Or not Slow Poke. <laughs> wow, why would I open Slow Poke? Friggin' um Slow Slow Bro. Um what else do we have here? Slow King. Hitmanly, Glade, Uxie, Dustmar, Cryogenol. Um, Mandibuzz is another one. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, let's open up more traits for shits and giggles. Um, Alright, and then we'll go back here. Have our UU open. And come back here. Have our threat list. Boop, boop, up to the front. And, alright. So, we got Melodic, we got Cafagragus, we got a shitload more options up here. Um, actually, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 and I only have four spots left. Let's do this. All right. Um Yeah. We got We got Obama Snow, which will though not a particularly defensive Pokémon, has some sort of longevity with the ability to subseed um and will bring in that hail which would be nice actually I'm going to open up Walrian too because if I get if I go with Obama Snow I'll probably also go with Walrian uh, because Walrian is very bulky in um, in the hail because of that ice body ability um, so yeah I will have Walrian open uh, but if I don't go with Obama Snow then I won't go with Walrian they're kinda real contingent on each other um, you know, Obama Snow who has that subseeding ability um, and can do a lot of residual damage with the hail that it that it brings to the field. Um, also gives me a good um, stall Pokemon in Walrian, you know, Starian, um, as you or as some people I don't know heard that before. Um, really good, uh, really good defensive Pokemon in. 
uh, hail teams. Wow, there is nothing, nothing in here that is um, really. That there, there, this is like really empty. I don't know. I, I can't put my words together. There's just like not much on this page. It's really empty. Um, so you got Snorlax is a great Pokemon and really good to go with. Uh, that was not what I wanted there. I'm going to pull Showdown out here into its own. There we go. Great Pokemon to go with Cafagragus. Um What else do we have? Nido Queen can set our rocks and it's an overall awesome Pokemon. Um Zapdos really, really solid defensive Pokemon, especially hearing you use still has the ability to dish out some damage. Um can yeah, with the ability to roost and uh drop toxics, things like that, it, it is a real good defensive Pokemon. Zatu um can help keep me clear of um, entry hazards and uh, that you know magic balance is an absolutely awesome uh, awesome ability to have on a team even just the mind games that it brings in are, are uh, great and can be an advantage uh, you know they're not going to want to use toxic or anything if they know that I can pull in a Zot my Zatu and just bounce it back in their face um, and it's not, not ridiculously, uh, not good, but with, you know, its stats and the, its abilities, but, well, its ability is what makes it an actual option and viable. Um, same thing with Sableye here. Really... It's ridiculous that with these, you know, pitiful stats, it's so able to perform in UU just because of Prankster. Um, I, I hate, 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 hate Sableye. This set here is ridiculous, though, so, and it works, and it works so well, and I hate it. <laughs> hate it so much. Um... What else? Him on top. Uh, blah, blah. Ability to spin is nice. Um, intimidate is not definitely not bad on a defensive Pokemon. Um, it, I don't know. I I I feel like Him on top is a Pokemon that overall is subpar. Um, but it's just the fact that it rapid spins is real the really the reason that it's in UU in my opinion um, I, I feel like if if you got rid of rapid spin we wouldn't see Hitman top ever um, what else we got crustal here uh, great suicide lead to set rocks and a couple layers of spikes um, also has the ability to dish out some damage it's not bad uh, but I don't know I'll if I go with Nido Queen then I probably won't go with crustal um, Glagger also has the ability to put out rocks uh, and actually, you know, stay in the game for a while longer other than just that. Uh, pretty decent defensive Pokemon. It's not fantastic. Um, once you, If it loses its Violate for any reason, then it's kind of screwed. Um, but that's, you know, about all it's got. Uh, Empoleon is pretty good defensive Pokemon too. Uh, we we'll already have a water type, uh, and uh, eh, I don't know. It it's not bad. It does ha also have the ability, you know, obviously with that high special attacks that has the ability to dish out some damage, um, but not. I don't know. It it's just not my favorite. I just don't really like Empoleon. I've used it in the past, and I just don't really like using it. Um, Crobat, really solid Pokemon defensively and um, at breaking uh, opponent's stalls. Uh, Crobat is something that I'm going to have to think about in uh, in my building, team building, definitely. Um, but, it, but it's really great at uh, stall breaking, um, which if I run into another stall team would be something that could be advantageous. Um, also has the ability to 
check some um, thing, some offensive threats, Heracross and uh, Roserade and Shaman and things like that that it you know could be an issue, um, and take, get rid of them with Brave Bird. Um, Crobat mm, might end up finding a spot on this team. Uh, Bronzong, another one that you know it's a really good Pokemon, um, but I just I don't like using it. It lacks reliable recovery, which is something that f doing what it tries to do, or at least what I try to do with it, I just need that recovery on there, and um, I can't I don't know I can't get by without without it with Bronzong, so I'm probably not going to go with that. Arcanine, uh, great. I mean, the typing isn't that phenomenal, but uh, with defensive investment and uh, access to uh, Morning Sun has the ability to check some uh, real, some big problems, Mew, um, Darmanitan, all, you know, Victini, the other fire types, uh, Cobalion, depending on what it's locked into, Heracross, you know, obviously we got right here, a bunch of options, um, and so it, it's a good choice, um, if, especially if I still need something to actually dish out some damage. Tangrowth, um, physically good at, you know, good defensive, obviously lacking specially, um, still has the ability to dish out some damage, either physical or special, um, uh, which is nice, um, I've used Tangrowth in the past and actually liked it. It has that regenerator ability now, I believe. So that that is a really good uh, boon to a defensive Pokemon. You know, you switch out and you get a 30 year health back. That's nice. Um, Spirit Tomb just did the lack of um, weakness makes it a good Pokemon. Uh, that That's really you know what it's got going for it. Uh, does not have reliable recovery either, and I already have, um, you know, I already have Cofagrigus as a ghost type, and, uh, somebody who's already relying on pain split. I don't want a lot of my team to be relying on pain split for recovery. Uh, Slowking, awesome choice, um, you know, kind of a specially defensive variant of Slowbro. You know, you can obviously see that it just switches to physical and special defenses. Um, and they're both really, they're both really good in UU. Um, I, I've actually run into a team or two that uses both of them, and it is an issue. It is an issue trying to get through both if you don't have something that can easily take them down. Um, it, it's, yeah. They, they are both really good Pokemon to use, especially with that Regenerator, again, um, save themselves some solid, uh, solid health recovery, it's really cool, um, and that's, you know, both of them, uh, Amanda Buzz, also get, you know, good defensive Pokemon, uh, weak to Stealth Rocks, though, uh, so if I go with Amanda Buzz, then I'm gonna want a Spinner, um, which would also open up Moltres as an option, uh, which means that Mandibuzz is kind of contingent on Hitmontop, uh, which I don't know if I'm going to go with Hitmontop. Um, but, it, you know, on a stall team, you don't want one of your walls switching in and losing a quarter of its health or half of its health right off the bat. Um, so that's definitely not something that you want. But Mandibuzz is a really solid Pokemon defensively. Uh, I have used it in the past, and... It has worked out really well for me. Um, and still has some sort of ability. You know, 65 base attack isn't fantastic. Uh, but with a Brave Bird, it can still do some damage when it's super effective. So it's still uh, still not bad. Uh, what else have we got? Moltres, again, Stealth Rocks. Uh, Moltres is, you know, 90s, 90, 90, 85 defenses. It's really good. It's, you know, well, very similar to... It's cousin Zapdos over here. Um, where did Zapdos go? It, very, very close. The defensively, the special and physical are switched. That's you know it. Uh, I have used Moltres on a stall team before, and enjoyed it. Like my, but that was fourth gen. It was like the first 
thir it was the, thir the second or third team that I built. Um, it actually worked pretty well, uh, but not uh, probably not gonna end up on this team. So yeah, let's go through here and get rid of some of these um, that I probably am not going to end up using for one reason or another. Um, I'll get rid of Crustle. Uh, him on top. All right, so got it. Lower down a little bit here. I really have to decide what direction I'm gonna go with this. Um, there's you know some key Pokemon that once I pick one, other ones will follow. Like Obama Snow, Walrion will follow. Um, Zatu, no, not really. Uh, Hitman Top was another one. I already got rid of that. Um, if I go with... Mm, definitely not both of these. Um, not with Melodic already in there. Um, Regenerator is a really good ability to have on a defensive Pokemon, though. Uh, um, probably not Glagger. Uh... uh I like I like Nita Queen. I'm leaning towards going with Nita Queen. Um Nita Queen Zapdos Snorlax. Snorlax works really well with uh Cafagrigus there. Nita Queen, Zapdos, Snorlax, um and I got one more. Let's see. Hold on. Let me let me throw those in and then go back through the list and see what what I'm missing. Um, Nido Queen, Zapdos, Snorlax, Add Pokes. Uh, Nido Queen, Zapdos, Zapdos, and Snorlax, Snorlax. All right. And then, what, who, which sets am I going to go with on these, um, alright, let's go, let's go ahead and, hmm, for now, I'm just going to run all defensive sets and then, you know, see just how well that works I'll probably not very well um, but we'll do that for now and then I'll change it around experiment with different ones I mean that's what testing's for uh, body slam whirlwind can learn whirlpool body slam whirlwind rest and sleep sleep talk oh I would probably want a cleric on this team, huh? Um, well, I mean, Snorlax and Melodic both rest, and Nido Queen uh, can absorb toxics too, so maybe not, actually. I may not even need one. But it is really nice to have a cleric on a defensive team to cover those problems. You know, if you do get hit with toxics or burns or things that'll whittle you down. Um, I'm going to need something to... You know, I'm going to go with Zatu here. Because uh, I don't want... I don't want too many entry hazards coming out. But I also don't want... Um, what's his name? Hitman top of my team. Um, not a huge Hitman fan. Ha ha ha. Um, I'm awful. So, alright, it looks like we have at least a starting place for this team. I'll just have to decide on sets and stuff now. New Queen, we got, what, Toxic Sludge? No, um, Black Sludge, boom. Uh, um, because, uh, you know, Poison-type Nidoqueen, uh, Black Sludge is essentially 
leftovers for poison types, uh, but if you get tricked, then it hurts the opponent instead, so that's cool. Um, let's see, what do we got? Nitto Queen. Page down. No, not offensive, defensive. Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock. Yeah, I'm not going to be too ridiculously original right now. I'm just going to Earth Power. Uh, who? Um, we're going to go with Dragon Tailor Whirlwind. Fire Blaster Ice Beam. For now, I'll throw an Ice Beam and Roar. I, I said Whirlwind, I meant Roar. They're essentially the same. For now, I'll throw these ones in, subject to change before I even play with this. Um, 252, 232, uh, 24. 24 speed? Alright, fair enough. Um, Alright, and then looking for bold nature. Boom. Alright, three down. Zapdos, we're going with defensive Zapdos. Uh, offensive, physically defensive. Um, actually, physical, phys alright. Mixed, physical, physical, special. Mix. I I might just flip to a specially defensive set dose. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, yep, let's do that. Go leftovers and discharge along with roost. Roost. Uh, toxic, actually toxic. I'm gonna go with toxic and thunderbolt instead. Um, run. All right, and then what do we got here? I suggest her fits team better. Spinning wild. Um, roars. Yeah, and you can. You can roar them out anyway. So if I do have to deal with ground types, I can roar them out and then switch to an appropriate Pokemon um, when I predict them to come back in. Whereas, actually I'm going to need somebody with Haze on here too. Um, because... Uh, all too often I've seen just the last Pokemon be able to get set up. And then you can't, like, you can't roar out the last Pokemon. Um, yeah, Dragon Tail, Haze, Roar. Um, Zapdos. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I'll, pro I'll go with Hidden Power Grass. And then... And that'll take care, help me take care of uh, Swampert's things like that. Um, and 248, 236, 24. 248, 236, 24. With a calming nature. Boom, there we go. And, um, where did... Our usage stats go over here. Yeah, okay. Zapdos. Snorlax. Um, I think I might go with Cursing Snorlax instead. No, no, I'll just I'll just stick with Rest Talk. Shooby doo -boo. And you need to be Thick Fat, not Immunity. Thick Fat. With, what was it? 208. 208. Uh, 124 and 176. Wow, I probably could have just looked down there. And a careful nature. Alright. And boom. And then Zatu. Last one. Should we do WAP? Alright, we got 
Melodic can burn. Cofagagus can burn. Nidal Queen can possibly freeze, but not really. Um, Zapdos has Toxic can poison. Snorlax, none. Um, so I don't have. So do I go with another Toxic user? Um, Toxic is very nice to have. Or Thunder Wave to hit what's left. Uh, let's go with T-Wave. Um, T-Wave. You turn to... <laughs> Either Psychic or Nightshade. Um, um, what am I more weak to... Or unable to hit? Uh, Cofagrigus already can't hit normal types, so let's go with Psychic. Don't have to worry about darks as much. Um, 252 and 240 spec D and 16 speed. Um, yes, yes. And either calm or careful, depending on. So I'm going with calm because I am using psychic. Okay. Um, and an item. Almost forgot your lefties. Um, I think that, that is everything on everyone here. That'll be a, you know, just very basic salt team. Let's go back here. Make sure that I got everybody covered. Um, Hera, I got covered with Cofagrigus and also Nido Queen. Um, Chandelure, got Snorlax, um, well, mm, Snorlax to a degree, uh, if I get rocks up, then I'll just be able to push it out until it dies to them. Uh, me and Shao, I got, again, Cofagrius and Nidal Queen, um, Blastoise, is defensive, I'm making sure I have the offensive ones right now. Raikou, uh, I have both Nidal Queen and Zapdos, can check that to a degree. Um, where am I? Victini, uh, physical Victini. I do have, um, no, Cofagrigus and Nido Queen, and special Victini, Snorlax, and Melodic, um, Victini. Umbreon, opposing Snorlax, cursing Snorlaxes, I can phase out, um, Flygons, eh. so <laughs> Fly Flygon, Melodic handles Flygon reasonably well, as will Zap. Uh, Zapdos is especially defensive, not physically. Um, Nido Queen can to a degree. Cofagrius can. Uh, uh, I'm top or man it, and nothing here is sticking out as. Unchecked, at least nothing offensive. Um, you know, Queen, Rhyperior, Arcanine. Yeah, um, looking, looking not too terribly bad. Uh, yeah, let's, um, go ahead and save this stall. And, uh, yeah, I will go ahead and play a couple matches with it. And, um, Actually, I'll I'll do at least one right now. That's what I usually do. Um, one, one or two uh, for testing, and then I'll. That's usually when I realize that I completely forgot something, um, and go back through and edit it around a bit. Um, who might he lead with? Swampert's an option to get up those rocks. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go out with Zatu, and he actually leads with Victini. Um, I'm going to switch out into Nido Queen to, to cover this Victini. Um, see if he goes with... Actually, nope, he just U-turns on out. We'll see who he goes into now. Uh, now he goes into Swampert. Um... So at this point, I will go back into Zatu. 
to try to bounce rocks back if he goes with him, or he'll go with the earthquake and uh, not be able to hit me with that. I'm um, just going to hit him with a psychic this turn. Um, and he switches back into Snorlax, so that psychic isn't going to do anything. Um, uh, but he doesn't have... Um, he doesn't have leftovers, so he's probably choice banned and going to use Pursuit on me. Uh, so I'll you turn out of here into. You can take that this Snorlax on. Um, back to Needle Queen. I might be able to get a Brox for now. Um, takes me out with that Pursuit. Wait, I thought that Pursuit didn't work with you. Whatever. I forget these things. Um, yeah, back to. Little Queen. Um, see if I can get some rocks up, roar through a little bit, get some phasing action in. It goes into Victini now. Um, gonna go ahead and s let that happen and uh, just go for an Earth Power. Actually, oh, he's gonna. Okay, tricks me the choice scarf. Not the best thing that could have happened there. Uh, clearly. Um. I will stay in. I don't want him tricking that black sludge on anything else, so I'm just going to stay in, go for another uh, earth power. He's going to switch out into Victini. Um, or not out of Victini, into Umbreon. Uh, I'll go into Melodic. Melodic enjoys playing around with Umbreons. Uh, he's going to wish up and probably try to pass it back into his Victini. I will go ahead and Dragon Tail whatever he switches back into regardless. Um, nope, he's just going to protect off here and uh, get keep his Umbreon at full health. Um, I'll Dragon Tail now. His Umbreon can't really do anything to my uh, Melodic, so I'm just going to keep... I'm just going to Dragon Tail through his team pretty much uh, into Victini, which can actually hurt me with a Fusion Bowl. I'll go into Niddle Queen in case he goes for that. Um, and, oh, ha, 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 or I'll get my Black Sludge back. Thank you. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. Um, so who on my team can actually some sort of benefit from a Choice Scarf? Um... Who's my most offensive Pokemon? I'm going to go with Zapdos, actually. And then he, you know, could be thinking that Zapdos is an offensive variant. Um, being that I have so many defensive Pokemon, it wouldn't it wouldn't be unreasonable to assume that. Um, I'm going to not roar because I did not put roar on this, on this Zapdos. Um... I'll drop a Toxic on this Snorlax, because I am pretty convinced that this is a choice banded Snorlax. Um, and now I will roost up to get myself actually uh, into Cafagagus, because he's probably stuck on that Body Slam. And he predicted that pretty well, and switched back into Umbreon, uh, which is a good move on his part. I will go ahead and Shadow Ball. Uh, he goes just out of lack of anything better to do. I'm not too scared of this Umbreon, even though I, pr you know, I theoretically should be, but I'm not too scared of it. Um, let's see if he goes back into that Snorlax now. I'm going to drop a Willow. Um, nope, he goes, stays with Umbreon, and I probably should have seen that wish coming first. Um, that was nobody's fault but my own. Um... I'm going to Zapdos now, see if I can get a, and see if I can get him to re-wish, and I'll roost up. I'm going to have to get through this Umbreon, um, just because, you know, it's a cleric, um, and that's not good for me. And he switches back into Hitmontop now, um intimidates me not a big deal I get a toxic on it though which is nice um, uh, you know probably would have been better to get a burn but I'll go back into Cafag I guess anyway just to prevent him from spinning my rocks away uh, he hits me in a foresight though um, so he can spin them away regardless uh, you know I'll go into melodic again melodic's kind of a catch-all Pokemon um, He's yeah. He's gonna rapid spin 
regardless. Uh, I'll stick with Melodic. I'm just going to drag him to around a little bit just to, you know, kind of disorient him some. Uh, he goes in Umbreon now. Let's see who gets pulled out back into Hitman Top, actually. Um, I'll just, I'll hit with a Scald, hit whatever comes in. Um, we'll see what he does. He goes back in Umbreon, actually. Uh, so he's going to take that Scald pretty well. Uh, let me send Nidoqueen back in here to get rocks back up, if I can. He re-heal bells, um, so he he does have a pretty defensive team himself, and, um, I'll get, get more rocks out here, and, uh, he sends in Cafagrigus, um, not too sure what sort of Cafagrigus is going to be, so I'm just going to roar out in case he tries to set up. Um, yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to do some phasing right now just to rack up some stealth rock damage. Um, hits me with an earthquake, which I probably should have seen that coming, but it didn't actually take me out anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Um, I'm going to actually roar again because he's, I'm going to think that he might just go for, uh, foresight there, thinking that I might switch. I have Poison Point on here, huh? Interesting. Um, yeah, okay, Swampert's in now. I'm going to go out into Zapdos, um, because if he gets rocks up, I'm going to want Zapdos at least one free switch into Zapdos. That is apparently a special or mixed Swampert. That is interesting. I'll go for the HP Grass, J.I. Case. Um, huh. And he brings in Umbreon on that. Um, I will send in nobody for Umbreon. I don't want to use Toxic because then Zapdos will get Toxic. Um, I, I kind of want to put Umbreon on this team instead of Zatu. Um, might be a decent switch. I'll have that Heal Bell. I'll have Wish Support um, for when I need it. Middle Queen doesn't have it. Uh, Cafagagus only has um, Pain Split. I'll go back into Milo now. Um, and he you know, goes for another Heal Bell. I'm just going to Dragon Tail a little bit here. Dragon Tail him out. In comes Swampert. And then I'll Dragon Tail again. Because he's probably going to switch. Nope, he stays in and goes for the Stealth Rocks. Um, Dragon Tail back into Umbreon to receive that wish. Uh, not the best thing that could happen, but what can you do? Um, I'll go for a Scald here. Maybe I'll pull a Burn and force him to use um, Heal Bell for a turn. Um, I don't mind getting that Burn synchronized onto me. Uh, not a big deal at all. Um, and I missed the Dragon Tail there, unfortunate. Yeah, not a big deal for me at all. Um, I can just rest off whenever I need to and be f absolutely fine with that. Um, in comes Victini. Uh, I don't want Victini to receive that wish, so I will re Dragon Tail and just hope that I can take that one bolt strike. And I can. Um, re Dragon Tail here. Hopefully, it pulls him into something that can't hit me very hard. Um, Swampert, I might be able to get the rest off. Uh, because he's apparently a special Swampert. Um, yep, there we go. Get that rest in. And uh, I'm doing alright. Doing alright. And actually, I outsped, so uh, that Earthquake would have taken me out if I didn't. Uh, so I'll go for a Sleep Talk here, see what I get. You know, I'm probably just going to stay in until I uh, wake up and have the ability to switch out. Um, Hitman Top isn't a bad poke to have in against me right now. Um, we'll see if he goes for the Foresight here. Uh, slip Talk Arrest, and he did go for a Foresight then. Um, so he did expect me to just switch into Cafagrigus straight off. Um, I'll switch now. Let's see if he just goes for another Foresight, or... Nope, he goes for the rapid spin then. And he'll probably try to foresight again. Um, I will switch into 
Who? Excuse me. I don't know who to switch into. I, I don't think that I'm going to be able to prevent him from spinning right now. Um, which is not good. Not good at all. But I can go into Nitto Queen uh, to get those rocks right back up. Goes for the foresight there. I will go ahead and re just re rock. Um, oh, I outsped. Shitty. It's actually not good. I didn't want to outspeed that time. Um, I'll just re rock this turn. Um, I'm just going to do that. I don't think he can. Eh, if he has Earthquake on the Hitman top, he might be able to actually take me out. Um, into Swampert he goes. I still have my rocks up. Um, he just got one switch without them. Um, he can take me out with an EQ here, so I will switch into Zapdos. He goes for a Scald, nothing doing. Um, pulls the burn, not a huge deal. I mean, a little bit of residual damage that could be an issue. Um, but I can now feel free to try to Toxic that Umbreon on the way in. Um, and get at least some damage going on that until he heal bells. Um, which he'll probably do this turn. Uh, but I will roost up here uh, as he probably goes for the heal bell. Yep, just like that. And I don't really have a plan to get through this Umbreon. Um, I guess Snorlax, if I can try to hex it with Body Slam, but that's about it. That's about all I, all I can think of here. Um... Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. He goes into Cafagagus, um, apparently not afraid that I am the choice band variant of Snorlax. Um, I'm just gonna whirlwind here. Uh, Umbreon comes back in. I'm gonna go ahead and whirlwind again. Uh, keep racking up some Stealth Rock damage on whatever comes in. Um, let's see what what happens. Uh, he's gotta wish out here so I gotta hope that this time it goes into something decent uh, something that I don't want and he roars out with that Swamper actually um, I don't want to lose Nido Queen until Hitman Top is gone so I'm going to actually you know what? Roar screw it he goes for the Scald and takes me out I'm I'm getting we're 53 turns in and I'm hungry so <laughs> I'm gonna go into Milo now, see if I can get Milo awake. Um, I definitely need some sort of offensive ability on this. Um, if I switch, um, if I switch Cafagagus and I switch um, Snorlax both to um, Trick Room and uh, Choice Band, respectively, that might actually, you know, they'll still have some defensive capabilities that they naturally have, and. Uh, I'll actually be able to do some damage with him, so that um, that might be a way to go. I'll try that out. Um, but this this whole thing's not working. If they have any defensive Pokemon at all, then I'm just kind of stuck in this sort of limbo here. Um, and so I'm I'll try that, or I'll try maybe getting rid of Zatu, and um, wow, well, I just sleep talked on the turn that I was gonna wake up. Or I'll try getting rid of Zatu for Crobat. That's another option. Um, yeah. I'm so hungry right now that... I don't know. I don't know uh, what's going on. Into Snorlax he goes. Pull that burn. Make him useless until he gets another... Hey, there we go. Um, until he gets another uh, heal bell out. Um... How many PP does Heal Bell have? Also going to go ahead and close all these because I use a lot of RAM and my computer doesn't have nearly enough RAM to have that many open. Um, into this here. Let's um, let's just Dragon Tail. Max eight. He might be out of Heal Bell soon. six. He's got six so far. So, we're, I actually might be able to stall him out of heal bells. 
Cool. I gotta be careful with my dragon tails. Um, because I'm running out of those myself. Goes for a shadow ball, nothing doing. Um, I, I actually do a little bit more damage with my, uh, with my scald than he does with his shadow ball. And, um, my, oh, there we go. Into trick room he goes. So I'm gonna dragon tail Cafagagus out of here, uh, cause I knew that nasty plot was coming. And, um, we'll get rid of you. And I have Mummy on my Melodic right now, so I'm going to switch my Melodic out also. Uh, I'm going to go into Cafagrigus for now. Uh, he switches out into Umbreon, actually. Um, so maybe, uh, maybe we can get him to go for another couple, uh, heal bells here. And, uh, stall him out of those. That'd be nice, huh? He goes for Protect here. Um, sees that I go for the Willow, uh, so I can see him switching back into Snorlax this turn. Um, so I'm going to go for a Pain Split, actually. Let's see if I can get Cafagagus back up to some decent health. Um, and Snorlax obviously wouldn't get him that high. Uh, actually, Victini did the opposite of what I wanted. Um, <laughs> and... I'll go back into Melodic now. And I get the Choice Scarf. He tricks me that. I, sh eh. I mean, it's not good, but it's handleable. You know, you rest and then sleep talk and sleep talk and sleep talk and sleep talk. Um, I'm going to go for a Scald here and get rid of his Victini, though. And, um,. Finally, take down his first Pokemon. Into Umbreon he goes. I'm going to keep Scalding for now. See if I can get him to uh, pull another Heal Bell out. Uh, his move, a Foul Play, which actually is a critical, did a decent amount of damage. Um, if I can pull Burn on this Umbreon, he might actually use one of those Heal Bells. Um, another Foul Play, nothing doing. Um, I'm going to switch out now because I am going to have to rest on Melodic. And it, I do have that choice scarf. I mean, I've played around, I've played through a choice scarf on Melodic before, and he has one heal bell left now, so good. I may actually still have a chance. Uh, Willow Wisp, he goes for the protect, um, which uh, Kavagrius is pretty much gone now. Um, Pain Split is pretty much all that I can do. Hope that he stays and doesn't actually hit me, um, or switches into something anything or goes for the double protect and actually pulls it um shitty i he could have done he could have just hit me with a foul play and taken me out for sure um i don't know why he went for that protect instead why not foul play well, he would have taken me out for sure with foul play instead he risked that 50% protect i mean whatever it is his call, but I just feel like that would have been the better move there. So I'm going to rest off here, um, get rid of that burn residual, and uh, get my defense higher. And uh, obviously my health is the the big deal. Um, boop, back to 100%. And uh, I'm going to obviously switch out now because I'm stuck choice scarfed into rest. So yeah, I'm going to switch out into uh, who, he's probably going to pass that to Kafag, I guess. Um, switch out into Zapdos, see if I can start spreading some Toxic, make him use that last, uh, actually Snorlax, works, works, works. Um, I will roost first. More important, need to make sure that I stay healthy. Um, Roost first, then he gets a crit on the body slam and takes me out. Wow, unfortunate. I mean, that, yeah, I can't spread toxic now. I'm pretty much screwed. Um, I had a very slim chance of winning, and now my toxic user is gone, and I have no chance of winning. Um, sleep talk one, sleep talk two. Sleep talk three. 
and now that I'm awake I will switch out so that I can re-rest not that it's gonna matter at this point anyway um, and goes for the trick room there uh, gonna outspeed not gonna be a huge deal because I'm going to whirlwind um, you, it, hidden power fighting actually uh, with that crit almost took me out I mean again without that crit it would have done you know 44 percent and I wouldn't be still sitting pretty but what can you do gonna rest here with Snorlax rest on up and uh, he goes for the close combat to pretty much take me out um, yeah, there's not much that I can do about that. Uh, sleep talk, hope that I pull the whirlwind or get the paralysis and he's fully paralyzed. That's pretty much my only chance. Um, yep, gone. Another crit, just for good measure. Um, not that that one mattered. Into Milo. Can't rest. Scald away. As I pull a million crits and win, right? <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, Scald. Wow, accidentally highlighted. Accidentally turned on the battle timer, too. And pull this burn on there, which actually was not actually dis helpful for me. Because um, now, yeah, you can just protect and I'll die to the burn. Gone next turn. And good game, and I need some more offensive prowess on this defensive team. Um, more toxic users. Um, roar on Zapdos. Yeah, so we'll go back to the team builder here. We will switch. Ow. Um, we'll switch. Zap doses HP grass to roar. Um, we will give him his IVs back. Actually, don't need him on attack. Um, we will change Snorlax to Choice Band Snorlax. Choice Band um, with return. Pursuit. Um, and then what? Return pursuit. Um, crunch. Fire punch. You know, let's just go back to smoke and set. Um, smoke on BW tears. U U. Boom. Um, Snorlax and. Also, Cafagrigus, I'm going to change both of them to Choice Band with oh, Earthquake, derp, 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 derp. And, um, yeah, I'll go with Fire Punch over, because I don't have anything for Bronzong either. Um, Zappy Dose, got the Toxic and the Roar. Uh, Zatu will change for Umbreon with leftovers and none of these moves boom alright uh... we got heal bell clearly with wish protect and i'm actually going to put toxic on there instead of um, payback or foul play and um, Brian, 252, 252, and 4. Wait. Yeah. And 4. And. Cam. Um. And we got Snorlax. Um, uh, I'm thinking about using Curse Lax instead. 
Um, no, 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 no. Uh, dip, dip, factor guess. I'm going to change you to offensive trick room. Now, shadow ball, HP fighting, nasty plot, and trick room. Shadow ball, HP fighting, nasty plot, and trick room. And she be do whoop. We got two forty eight, eight and two fifty two. Two forty eight. Wait, what was the A on defense? Right. Wrong button. Eight and two fifty two and you go away. Negative zero speed. Um cool. And still lefties? Yeah, still lefties. And we will see how that works instead. Um Yeah. Alright. Um it sounds like a plan to me. Uh, I will continue to test this team out and probably use it in live narration later this week. And um, now I will obviously be making some changes, but I am so hungry right now that I'm going to end this video and uh, go get some food. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Keep coming back. I will keep putting up more. And, uh, you know, feel free if you see me on. Uh, feel free to challenge me or whatever. Um, hit me up, message, blah, 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 anything like that. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Keep coming back. I will keep putting up more. Au revoir.